He could have, listen, the biggest bird in the world will body you. So it don't take a lot. So I can't really say. I could call it out for certain buildings. In certain buildings I went to, these weren't getting that busy. But then you go to another building and it's like, holy snap, these are gorillas. Like, it's different type of dudes everywhere. The same way you go some places and, like, these dudes were saying that the Crips were signing in and all that. I seen that, right? When they was trying to... I get people trying to put down other gangs. The internet, that's what you want to do on the internet. That's cool, right? But then if you're going to do that, you got to say facts. You got to come with facts. Because, yeah, the Crips were hiding and denying that it was Crip, right? But the Bloods were hiding and denying that you was Blood too. Facts. They put you in a king house. You wasn't saying you was blood. Facts. So I don't care who you are, who are, you can stop that, right? Now, don't get it twisted. Some people came in like I would. You king? Yeah, I'm king. I'm coming in. That happened with me and aunt. I wound up in 9B. I was in aunt's house. But aunt got along with me as soon as I came in. I'm little like aunt. You know what I'm saying? Aunt is a monster. I'm thinking I'm a gorilla. You feel me? Uh, so it was all love. That's how I'm in aunt and 9B in the beacon. This was like 95, 96. Uh, Tone was there. Tone was there for one day because he had to pack up and go. Facts. King Tone. Uh, uh, he was out of there. Facts. Like Flash. Phew. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to say that. Those are just facts, bro. I'm never going to lie to you. That's your cousin, Tommy. That's not me. So, the Crips, then I, they were super outnumbered, and everywhere they went, they were getting smashed on. There was even some other gangs that were smashed on them when they put them in the other pin. Even outlaws, everybody was at them, so it wasn't just BDs. Everybody was trying to get at them because he'll have his bro, his boy, and he everybody want to jump for their boy, but then come home and be like, I was neutral, I didn't get down with nothing, thinking you a gorilla. You stunting. You was running every day with bloods. You was running every day with kings. So that's how you lived, homie. Because when shit hit the fan, you was going to get it too. Neutral or not. <laughs> you know how many neutrals I used to see with the ops? And I'm like, he going to get it. When we was all banging like that? Like, come on. Let's keep it a stack. You can't down the cribs now and be like, oh, they was hiding. My dude, if you was blood, y'all was hiding too from us. So let's keep it a stack. Nobody could put down nobody the same way you be in blood, right? To put it fair, in all fairness, because I'm a fair dude, you could say some kings were hiding from us and denying it too. And I don't put a pass to it. I seen it happen. We have to deal with some dudes that did it. So we it happened in every nation, in every gang. There's no big I's and little U's over here. Right? When the pain is the same. We all went through something that was dramatical, a uh, tragedy, something that probably shouldn't be taking place never in life amongst men, amongst human beings. Supposedly God's children, your higher power states that I'm your brother. But if you a racist black dude, right, you don't look at me as your brother. you like, fuck that nigga, you ain't black, right? And I could look at you and think that you're not black enough. That you're, you're black only when you supposed to, when you think it's cool to be black. You get it? Like when you podcasting and you feel like you're the, you could talk about hip hop because you think it belongs to just you because you're black. <laughs> right? Like we could go all day with it. But again, The wound is the same. We hurting each other with words or the way we act even on here. You feel me? You wait for somebody to say something. They say the smallest of things and you misinterpret it and you run with it. Oftentimes, people jump in the comment section and they don't even watch the whole video. They just listen to a little sentence, go comment. Boom. Motherfucker, who you think you are, boo? And then the same people, I seen them come back to my comment section and say, yo, I apologize, my dude. I watched the rest of the video, my bad. And in the back of my head, I hear, Ebro, congratulations. You played yourself. <laughs> But yeah, that's how that happened there, man. I just wish the best for everybody. Just sometimes when I see some of these shows and I see a dude and this is how we train him. Yo, the bro just came home from prison. Yo, you want to make money? 
You can start a YouTube channel, talk about your story in prison, right? Cool. Do you know we open the doors for people to do that? A lot of us that have been here, and you teaching them the wrong way. You teaching them, come and talk about the ops. Talk about who you put in the hospital. Immediately, people don't like them. They front and they just like your story real quick, right? But there's a killer somewhere that was down with whatever he was doing, and he don't be on YouTube. Nah, nah, he don't even have a phone. He be like, yo, boy, let me see that. Who's that? Oh, well, send me a screenshot to my email. Or he'll take a photographic memory. And he wakes up for breakfast. He eats, shits, sleeps, dreams, whatever gang he's involved in. That's all he thinks about. And he can't wait to see you. Just off of what you